Morgan. Black dress, which is American for a word I made up, um, meaning black actress. Oh, clever puns. Um, I figured I could just go there because since I moved to Australia, people just use words that I don't understand all the time. Um, but what I discovered, the biggest problem is that when someone says something I don't understand, I automatically assume it's sexual. Because, like, my mind is in the gutter. Um, like, I was walking around my neighborhood. Well, I was exercising. But what exercising means is that I walk briskly, and then when I see someone coming, I start to run. To make it look like I'm doing a lot more than I actually am. And then when they're, like, past me, I just, like, Okay, okay, we can take it down. We can stop living a lie. Um, and so, so, you know, I'm doing my little, like, walk jog, living a lie, and this guy's like, nice tracky decks. To which, you know, I say, excuse me, sir, I am a lady. And it is called a vagina. when I started working at a backpacker bar, and you know, you got this whole international cocktails, I didn't know what was going on. Get the light on the Negress. Focus, focus, I saw you dim. Sorry, I'm back. And, um, so I was working, so I'm working at this bar, and like, like tall Irish dude comes up, and it's like, and I swear, like, I've never heard of this before. So I'm out of my element, it's like, hey, two quick fucks. And, I mean, my gut reaction is, let's have one and see how we go. I don't know your name. I don't I mean, are you on a working holiday visa? Or are you going to stick around? You know? Because then we'll talk about something. You know? Or, I mean, of course, when later two girls are like, hey, um, can we get on two wet pussies? And I'm like, you and me both, sweetie. We'll talk later. I don't even know how to handle that from behind the bar. <laughs> But, you know, I've, I've gotten a hang of it now, and like everything's good, but it's been, it's really weird though, because I kind of like stress out right now, because I went to the doctor last week, because, um, you know, I wasn't feeling well, and, and it was fine, but then the doctor, she's so weird, she goes, she's like, okay, well, here's this cup, I want you to go home and pee in this cup, and then take it to the lab, and then come back in a week. I'm like, what am I paying you for? If I'm doing the peeing in the cup, I'm taking it to the lab, I'm like, what's gonna happen at the end of the day? And like, what would I look like with pee in a cup on the subway? Like, I'm on, I'm on the metro, like going to town hall, and I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, lady with urine coming through. Like, one false move, and it's like, pee for everybody. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. It's really, really stressful. I'm sorry I talked about pee, you guys. I'm sorry, I probably didn't have to do that. I just, I don't know, I have no sense of boundaries. Very, very rude. Um, but it sometimes gets me in trouble. But the fact is, I'm not a good liar. Like, I would love to be like calm, cool, and collected, but I just say really ridiculous things that I figure I might as well just be blunt and ridiculous. Because I was like talking to somebody like a week ago, and, and you know, he's like, oh, do you want to come like go to this thing next week? You know, and I, just, I really don't want to go because I don't like this person. But I didn't know how to get out of it. So the first thing I said, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, I, I don't know, I might have a funeral. <laughs> I might have a funeral. I might have a funeral. It's like, like who am I gonna kill? I'm like, oh, Sally had some bad fish, crossies. I won't be able to hang out with you. Like, what is wrong with me? So this is why I just figure it's better to be just like blunt, kind of evil. I think it's partially because to because I'm new here, I'm traveling, and I don't really know people, I have this sense of like, you're dead to me, I'm on the move, you'll never see me again. <laughs> really crazy things. Um, and I was talking to these two, these two girls recently, you know, and they're, they're all like, they're like, oh, black dress, how do we become a strong black woman? And I'm just like, you can't, you're Caucasian. <laughs> It's a state of mind. And so I was just 
like, and they're like, you know, like, I want to talk to this guy, but like, I'm really scared of, like, being weird. I'm scared of being too intense. Fuck that, okay? I want you to be scared. I want to terrify you, okay? Because if I traumatize you, you will never do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? I got a trail of people who will probably never again date a black girl. And you know what? You are welcome. I will save some people some trauma because I terrify you. Part of me is because, like, black president, you know what I'm saying? Black community, bitches. I can tell a man to watch him die, videotape it, put it on YouTube, and still get.